in the last couple of videos I did a review on the Royobi 18 volt um, whippersnipper and edger and they're pretty good if you haven't seen those videos go and watch them I use a 5 amp battery for both of those and doing all of my lawn with both of those tools use the quarter so it's pretty efficient but now we're going to move on to the 36 volt whip, uh, what do you call this thing lawn mower so this thing is once again powered by a battery uses a 36 volt battery and they just slot into place technical spoof 5 amp hours there we go um, yeah. my lawn I'll use probably a quarter to half of the battery in this depending on how long it is pretty easy to set up you've got a handle that moves up and down locking lugs I think the new model of this has got a slightly different improved system on the handle that will fix that up later when I've got two hands but overall they're basically the same machine so it's pretty easy to use it's lightweight it does have a carry handle um, so you can pick it up it does have five ride heights one being the lowest five being the highest I always cut my lawn on the highest because that way it keeps your lawn being um, most optimum in Oh, I've just broken that. <laughs> Optimum in the growth and everything. Highest, number five is the way to go. This is the blade underneath. Just a simple blade. Effective at what it does. And this being 36 volts and 46 centimetre width, um, it does a pretty effective job at this grass here. If you have buffalo grass, maybe get something that's a bit more heavy duty than this because it may struggle. But this grass is fine and it's a little bit long now. I've been away and it's time to mow the lawn. So you can't really see much of a difference there in the lawn. <laughs> but trust me it's actually shorter and it's a lot neater there. Done a good job. Effortless to push because it is so light. And another cool feature about this lawnmower is that it comes with a mulching attachment which you can put in there. So instead of having the catcher on and then filling that up with grass which you chuck in your bin, it just mulches it into smaller pieces of grass which go back into your soil to fertilise it. When you let go of it, it completely shuts down, so none of this sucking back on fumes or, you know, letting it run, giving you, your neighbours down the street an earful of the sound of the lawnmower. It is pretty quiet and easy to use. Another cool thing is that it's obviously electric, which means you don't have to maintain the thing. You don't have to worry about putting more petrol in, other than charging the battery. That's that's about it. That's all you got to do. You don't have to change your oils. You don't have to do anything. It's just just simple, and I like that. And there we go, it's pretty pretty easy to use, makes really quick and effortless lawn maintaining. And what I like most about this is it's green, so it's environmentally friendly, not green in the sense of that bush, but in the sense of you can choose how to recharge your electric motor slash battery, sorry. For me, I just use this 160 watt solar panel here, just this one here, it's a camping one, that's my old camping one, I don't use that anymore, but it's just this little lightweight camping solar panel, and that runs into my battery, which stores the power during the day, and then that hooks into this cheap inverter here, all for camping, and it's got a dual purpose, if I go camping I'll take this with me, but during the um, normal days, I just run this, turn that on, and 
plug in the chargers for both um, 18 and 36 volt Rovi products. So it's truly a system where you can grow your grass by the sun and also mow it by the sun. That's a pretty good catchphrase. Copyright me. Anyway, that's it. If you're thinking about getting one of these, it's a little bit more expensive, but easier to maintain, cheaper to run, lightweight, practical to use, and effortless. So, highly recommended as well. So, thanks for watching. Bye.